Could a tragedy have been prevented? Tonight, a five-year-old boy is dead after drowning in a closed and locked apartment pool. A heartbreaking mm. story. First Coast News' Nick Perot is there. He joins us now live. And Nick, we understand another child was also in the pool. Yes, Heather, JSO tells us that another child was in the pool but taken to an area hospital and expected to be okay. That is all the information we have on the second child here at the preserve at St. Nicholas in the pool at the time of the five-year-old that died. Now, I spoke with some residents here that say yes, during this process, while the pool has been closed, they have had notifications rather when it's been open, but say now that this tragedy struck, maybe some change needs to happen. Vanetta Mayos lived in the preserve at St. Nicholas for five years. Usually when I ride past it, it's closed or there's a lot of debris in the pool, so I assume people are not using it because I don't really see it getting cleaned or being cleaned. So. Mayo says the pool has not seen much activity since Hurricane Irma came through, but she does see a lot of kids around the complex. And so there are a lot of kids out here by themselves, during, you know, especially when they're coming from school and walking through here. It's unclear how these two children entered the pool, and JSO says the complex has had it locked and closed to the public for months. I can tell you that we had to have maintenance workers unlock the gates for us to make entrance to it. Uh, so obviously we've been um, trying to determine how the children got inside exactly, so that's part of our investigation. When the pool is open, Mayo says the complex does give ample reminders and notice to watch those in the pool. When you first sign up in apartments, they do give you a bracelet. They tell you to be out there with your families. When it's open, to my knowledge, they do do it the right way, to my knowledge, as far as about telling you and sending memos out in letters. And in your lease, it does tell you to be out there with your children. However, following this tragedy, Mayo says the complex should make some changes board it up or put bigger signs to say that it's closed and give memo and letters out and notices. I do agree with that. Yeah, I just say be with your children so they won't go into areas that they aren't supposed to be in and stuff like that so we won't have another incident like that. And back here live, our attempts to reach management to get reaction to this story were unsuccessful. So again, five-year-old boy drowns here this evening and another child sent to an area hospital as a result of in this pool. Keep it right here for the very latest. Reporting live in St. Nicholas tonight, Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.